Good morning, everybody. Well, it's like 10 o'clock, I think, but it's story time. And I know most of you don't know this car, but this is Go Granny Go. I drove this car for, I think, eight years. I freaking love this car. Been through a lot with this car. Today, hey, there's my hat I've been looking for. Um, today is all about cleaning her out and letting her go. Kind of sad. A lot of history. A lot of history. But anyhow, it's time to let it go. Time to take it to the scrapyard. The motor blew. Um, it was doing really good till I got ran off the road at night on a gravel stretch of road. I'll insert the pictures. Um, if I can get them saved. But I'll insert the pictures of it. And I'll tell you what happened when I put those pictures in. Um, and uh, share with you what, what happened. And it was after that that where you see the arrows pointing is actually where I started fishtailing. Um, just before I started fishtailing, a truck, I never saw it coming. It was pitch dark out um, other than the moon. And this truck was coming with no headlights, nothing. Never saw it coming until he turned his headlights on, high beams, the whole nine yards. I... Um, tried to miss him. I missed him, but then I started sliding. You can see how far I fishtailed, and you could see here where I finally lost control, and I went off the road. Guys, when you go airborne, that sick feeling of suddenly there's no sounds of gravel under your tires, and I should have went nose first into that other bank. I did not. My car landed facing the opposite direction of the direction I was going. Where my car is sitting is the direction it was facing when I came back out. I was actually going the other way. Um, this is pictures of my car taken that night. That grass and dirt was all jammed up in a packed around um, my radiator up underneath, it did a lot of damage to, um, it kind of twisted the frame a little bit. Um, and ever since then, my car kind of went downhill, um, motor wise and everything, but it didn't break the radiator or anything. Um, I've got to tell you, this car hung in there with me thick and thin, even when the motor went, it got me back to where I could park it. And there's even grass way up on the windows. Um, okay, anyways, I had to have um, my friend come and unlock, help me unlock the car because I couldn't get the doors open. And he was leaving, so I had to pause and we got the doors open, they were stuck shut. Um, so that's done and they're open. It's a good thing. I thought, you know, he stopped by to make sure I could get them open because I couldn't. So we got them open. Otherwise, I'd be like not getting in the car. I'd been forever. But I am going to start getting in here and uh, start cleaning this out. And I'm going to start, of course, by taking the wood block off the trunk and we'll just set that over here on the truck and 
all of the tires have been changed over to tires and rims that are not good. Um, it's full of stuff that I've had here because I used to live here um, before I got my apartment. Um, no clue what else in here. Okay, so the trunk is almost empty. There's my toolbox. I can get my toolbox. Get this cleaned out. A lot of this is trash, guys. A lot of this is trash. And, uh, we're gonna let some air in here. Well, there's my coffee pot. I have boxes of stuff to take out of here. I know it's hard for you to see right at the moment because of the way the sun's coming in. And I have trash bags. I've sprayed myself with deep free bug stuff. Got a drink with me. And you can see the mosquitoes and stuff. And um, that's the front seat. Uh, a lot of stuff in here. Mice droppings. We're just going to take this right off the seat for right now. Lay it there. And I'm going to sit in here. Um, we're going to start with the front seat. Trash bags. And I'm going to put you guys here somewhere and we'll get to work. Okay, so you're just going to have to be a little crooked, guys. But just all there is to it. Oh, we have a spare key. I don't know. Um, lots of these uh, pens are laying here. It still works. Um, yeah. That one, not so much. Let's trash. I don't think I need my old insurance cards for this car. It's all like trash. I have no clue what this is. Oh my good lord, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I have my feet stuck. Um, bingo dauber. I know these are broken. These are the ones that pull my hair. Look at this. I have like silverware in here. Like, not sure why. There's the uh, cigarette thingy. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Look, spare loop. Some little oh. shells. And I even have some money. Um, I know you guys are really close to me where you're sitting, but um, it just is what it is. I have absolutely no clue. Oh, do you guys know what this is? This is to get out of your car if you are in an accident. More money. It's all pennies, but you know, money's money. SD card case. That's always handy to have. I think I'm going to put some of this little stuff in that box. There's the rest of the cigarette holder thing. And part of a very nasty looking necklace. I'll see if I can clean it. And I think that's the extent of that. Most of it's trash. It's all trash. Okay, I hope this doesn't fall out, but I pulled this all out of the dash. I'm not going to reach in there. Um, I don't have a flashlight with me, but this is all the paperwork. All the work's been done to the car, you know. 
all that, a Kansas map, a Missouri map. Um, I'll hang on to that. The rest of this is trash. We're going to move into the back seat. Can you see that down in there? That is broken glass from when we hit a deer. It is still in the car. And I know for a fact that under the seats, there's still broken glass. I never got it all out. I wonder what's under the seats. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I thought about the underneath of the seats. That I will take. Um, I'm not reaching under here because there is still glass under here. This is from when I hit the deer. My daughter, Jeannie, was with me, and it swung around and came through. The butt end of it came through the passenger window and actually hit her in the face. Um, we always joked with her about it. And that's why the front of my car had a blue piece across the front. Let's go to the back seat, guys. Ew. Everything is, like, sticky and gross. Lots of icky spider webs. Oh, look! Icky clown. Well, I guess this box needs to go with me. I guess we could put you up on top. Hold on. I was talking and the video wasn't going. Um, I figured we'll just put you up top. We got this box. It's got like everything. There's some jewelry in here. My clowns. Um, see that. Cookie book. There's actually some cassette tapes, little wooden boxes. Um, I won't wind her up. This one's full of all kinds of stuff. So, that's got to go with me. This box has letters to cut out, mail that I need to keep. Oh, this comes from my Uncle Bobby. This is a photocopy of my grandma's and grandpa's um, marriage license where it shows um, that my grandfather was actually, his parents were Frank and Inez, Frank Dio and Inez O'Brien. I actually need this if I want to change my family, my, my last name to Dio, which is actually supposed to be my family's last name. So that's actually important paperwork. I thought that I would have more things to throw away than I did, but um, maybe once I go home and I go through some of this, I will. But it appears that, you know, there isn't as much to throw away as I thought. This is a Scentsy warmer. I don't use them, so... Um, I'll probably donate this to one of the thrift stores or something. These are little measuring cups. The other one fell right here. I'll actually keep these. So. My old hat. I've been wondering where this was. It's been in this car all this time. Um, I don't know if that tapes any good. I got a lot of kids' books, some jewelry, stuff to refresh your Christmas tree with, or wreaths, books, toys. Check this out, guys.
That's an old toy. Not real old, but it's an older toy. Um, and a mystery machine. And two of my favorite things from Tupperware. They're funnel and a scoop. I like those. Um, and just probably some stuff that I'll decide to either toss or whatever eventually. But I really thought there was more to throw away <laughs> in my car than there is. Um, wow, there's actually oil in these oil jugs. Let's go on to the other side. Okay, I couldn't get the other door to open, so I just pulled the box over. There's this, like, creepy... It's like foam. I'll probably just give it away. Um, it's not anything I want to keep. Yeah, Keegan's, uh... My granddaughter's toy. Uh, another one of her little pull toys. This is actually quite old. Now, and uh, a bank, and it's just full of memories, guys. Just stuff to get rid of. Just stuff to get rid of. Tissues. That land back, back there was actually my mother's. Got some games. Um. Probably a lot of it will be donated, gotten rid of, given away, whatever. But yeah, I thought there was more trash in my car than there is. But, um, you know, that's life. You move on. Right? He'll want his... I call him... Uh, you know, for the for mechanics rags. Um, I probably won't keep that, but a lot of trash, guys, on the floorboard that I'm not going to mess with all that. It can all go. But let's go ahead and, um, first I'm going to wipe my nose. Okay. Um, I wiped my nose and... Took a few deep breaths, gained my composure, and we have a world history book. These actually go into a thing that I have. This is an old curling iron, guys. Um, electrical tape. I don't know if it's any good after sitting there for so long. I have no clue what, oh, that's part of the car. And we have a wheel. I don't care. A first aid kit. I don't even know if there's anything in it. We'll find out. We'll look together. <laughs> How funny, I can't get it open. And you're not going to stay. Go figure. I've had to fight with this all day today. And it's not opening. Ugh. Well, I guess we'll never know. What else have we got up there? Hold on. Okay. So there were this, this box, it's got 
these index things with tabs. I'll keep them. Another roll of this and a box that's, I don't know what's in it. Oh, look. Okay, well, wasn't what I thought it was. I was just going to trash it. Um, and then needle nose pliers. And this is from a piano that I rescued these pieces. And I have more of them somewhere. I just don't know where. They're in a drawer somewhere packed away. What, if you look on the wall behind where my chair is, I'll show you a picture of, I'll take a picture and add it to this video. I use these to make a really nice decoration, guys. And I went back to get more and they tore the place down and destroyed the old piano that was laying there. So, anyways, that's that. The plaque in the middle is from the piano and the guitar and the banjo I got at a yard sale. And this is from an explore I did and this is the piano that I got the pieces from. I don't think that's any good anymore. I'm not worried about those. I just a piece of metal that can stay there. And of course we have all of these and they've all been written on. So they're pretty much trash, guys. So that's it for this car in the front. Let's see what's in the back. Maybe you'll stay this time. This is actually quite valuable. Um, the handle to it is worth more than the entire saw, believe it or not. I'm actually going to paint on the saw. Um, I have my toolboxes, which I'll keep. Um, my jack parts, I'll see if Alan wants to keep them out of here. Um, I'm sure he will. This is uh, red bags. And these are some old parts. I'll see if I can sell them. And then my toolbox. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, this is a thing to air up tires with. Um, another one of Keegan's toys. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the tire tools out. And then he can decide. I have no idea if this is worth anything. I'll take it out. And let's see. Oh, I also have a vice in here. Can't reach the jumper cables. Hold on. I have something. goes to my tent. So get that out of there. Fishing tackle. Holy crap. Let me get that guys. 
this piece of water. Let me get that. anything else. See if I can save these. Flat this flag. Got it. I got it. Okay. Guys, um, I'm not going to make any more crafts with barbed wire. So... call it good enough guys no guys I don't know if you can see it or if you can tell because the outside of the window is dirty but more down there you could probably tell you see the smudges I'll put a picture up I've never washed this back window and there's a story behind it and those are actually my granddaughter's fingers and rich dressing from McDonald's from her chicken nuggets. I never had the heart to wash this back window. This is what the back window looks like if it's got the just the right temperature and the light hits on it perfectly. You can see her hand smudges.
Okay. I'm out of breath, guys. I'm hot. I'm tired. Until the next time when I take her to the scrapyard.